step two. Okay. See this, uh, these two marks, the round dots and the long line? I'm going to use that as a guide. The uh, back side also has that mark. So what I'm going to do is cut everything. Ah, hot, 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 hot. Showing this on the video. Quite hot. There we go. So I'm going to leave those guides visible. It will also help me take that paper off when it comes time to do that. So, if you have a highly detailed image on both sides, I recommend you cool this off a little bit because it can stick. <clears throat> This one I should just be able to line it up on the corners and those dots should line up. Now the trick is seeing how they line up. So I'm going to use a bright light. Um, Maybe in the ceiling light, maybe the sunlight. Okay. So, sunlight was the best. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Bottom side down. Heat the board. One corner. This one I know is lined up. But you can inspect it if you, th if you think it slipped. Very hot. process. Now this is the first time I've done a double sided board and it's just an experiment really to see if it's easy to do. I just etch the copper off when I don't do it so I figure I'd mask off and save some of my etching for later use. Spend about seven minutes on this side. <clears throat> I'm do the same technique, cutting off the paper. Okay. All right. So the next step is to take that hot board and drop it in some water. And this water is not boiling hot. It's dishwater for doing dishes hot. It doesn't scald you. It's just, you know, got some temperature to it and that's going to help dissolve that paper. Now this is the critical part. The paper is going to start to get curly but you need to let it dissolve. And this can take 10-15 minutes. Don't try to pull the paper off without the water. It looks like it works if you did it dry or possibly warm but what you'd end up with is a lot of little fine detailed gaps in the traces 
and those little errors will come back to haunt you. So, we're going to let it sit. Alright, so it's been soaking for about 12 minutes. And I'm going to lift it out of the water. And just peek on the back side to start with. So you can see where the board didn't come in contact with the transfer, but then it's just sticking right to the board after that. Now if it resists, or you start seeing green on your paper, you need to re-soak it. And I'm going to let that soak a little more. Same with this side. I'm going to warm the water back up and drop it back in there. And let it soak for, oh, five more minutes. All right, we're back. Five minutes have passed. And the paper's getting softer. Okay, yeah. And you can go from any corner. That might help a little. Definitely leaving paper on there. It's that water. Just has a hard time getting to the center. But we'll re-soak it again. No green, just on the edges where I didn't uh, apply the copper. That looks pretty good. Now the other side. It's not leaving as I pull the traces back. None of the uh, photocopier toners left, which is good, but it still feels Like it's holding. So I'm going to soak it again for another five. All right, five minutes have passed. Feels a little better. It's pulling off pretty good. And no traces left. That's good. Now, all these spots are dry where water needs to get in, so I'm going to soak it again.